House Democrats are today introducing articles of impeachment to force Trump out. They're trying to force Trump out just, you may say, days in which Trump will be forced out automatically. And Trump is already said that he is going peacefully and that he is facilitating an orderly transition. But that is evidently not enough. The impeachment is based on the idea that Trump has supposedly once again committed high crimes and misdemeanors and that he needs to go now. This would really make, I guess, Pence the president for a few days before Biden takes over. Now, how does this impeachment process move? The Democrats only need a majority in the House, which they have. Uh, their majority isn't huge, but it's sufficient. And they might even get some Republican votes. Um, there are Republicans, as we all know, who have never liked Trump. And there are Republicans who see this as a good way to give Trump a sort of boot um, on his way out. So I think that the Democrats will be able to get probably fairly easy, easily a majority. And they want to do this fast. They don't even really want it to be seriously discussed or debated. They don't want to prove their case. They feel that their case is you may say self-evident. Self-evident evident like the Declaration of Independence. It is a self-evident truth that Trump has committed high crimes and misdemeanors. Uh, what crimes and misdemeanors he's committed, we will need to explore. But let me just push forward with the process. It moves, if it's quickly approved by the House, it moves to the Senate. And here is the key point. What happens in the Senate? Now, the Republicans are holding on to a very um, narrow hold on the Senate. It's going to be a 50-50 Senate going into the Biden administration. Um, but you can't do this with 50 or 51 votes. You need two thirds. You need two thirds of the entire Senate. So the future of Trump in the Senate is in the hands of Mitch McConnell and the Republicans. There's a very interesting article um, by um, Andy McCarthy in the National Review. Uh, it's called Impeachment by the Numbers. And uh, McCarthy begins by talking about the, uh, the Nixon impeachment battle in which Senator Goldwater, I believe it was, went up to Nixon and um, talked to him about resignation. Now, Goldwater, interestingly, didn't ask Nixon to resign. He merely showed Nixon the numbers. He showed Nixon that Nixon's support in the Senate had collapsed uh, in the Republican Party. And Nixon, who was always um, a realist, a uh, real politique guy, a Machiavellian, if you will, Nixon certainly knew how to count, recognized that basically the deal was done. This was not ultimately a matter of should he resign? Did it make sense to resign? Was it, was, did the case have merit? Nixon basically looked at it as a math problem. Um, I don't have the votes. I need to get out of here. And so he did.